In this particular program, we are going to show you how you can print the addresses of normal integer type of variables, a pointer to a integer type of variable, and a pointer to a pointer to a integer type of variable, no, also known as the double pointer. This is known as the single pointer. So what we're going to do here is we're first going to give SI an initial value 100. Any value is fine. We can let's even give it the value 1000. Really does not matter. Then what I'm going to do next is to the single pointer, I'm going to copy the address of SI. And after declaring the double pointer, I'm going to copy the address of I pointer. The way is like this. IPTR contains the address of SI. Double pointer contains the address of IPTR. Now, let us see at the first step, we print the addresses. How, how, how we go about printing the addresses? So if I print the address of SI, okay, this is the statement address of SI. Next step, I am printing the address of IPTR because IPTR is also a normal variable except that it is different in the sense it holds the address. This is address of DIPTR. That means this is address of pointer to a pointer. So, if we try to take a look at the output when I ran this particular piece of code a minute back, you can just see the output here. All right, you can just watch the output on the first three lines of code. So, let me increase the size. Now, when I'm, let me take it back, let me try to increase a bit so you can see a little better. Okay, all right. Okay, so here, if you tend to see, address of SI was being printed as this last digit 509788 address of IPTR this was being printed as 50972 now address of DIPTR this fellow was being printed as 509800 so if you see a 8892 that means size of integer is 4 bytes 92 to 800 that means size of IPTR happens to be 8 bytes now let's go to the next steps in this particular program. Now what we are going to do here is after printing the addresses of SI, IPTR and DIPTR, let us do or let us take a look at what are the addresses or what are the values contained in IPTR and DIPTR. So if I simply print IPTR, IPTR should print the address of SI. Let's see if that is the case. Address of SI is 509788. Now address in IPTR happens to be 509788. So it's doing it as it is. That means IPTR contains a value which happens to be the address of SI. Now DIPTR, when I'm printing it, it should print the address of IPTR. What is the address of IPTR? 509792. So when I'm printing address in DIPTR, it is printing 509792. That means DIPTR contains the address of IPTR. IPTR in turn contains the address of SI. So, so far, so good. Now, let's look at the last phase. When I'm printing simply IPTR, it is going to print the address IPTR. But star IPTR is going to tell me what is the value at address. So, what is the address in IPTR? This particular address. What is the value at 509788? 509788 happens to be the address of SI. So it is going to print the value of SI which happens to be 100. I had initialized it as 100. Now I changed it to 1000. So it's still showing the old value. So don't worry about the value. Now address of IPTR. Address of IPTR was this particular flow 509792. So the first star will give me this particular address 509788 this first star the second star will give me what is the value at this particular address value at this particular address happens to be 100 now let's go to the next DIPTR DIPTR if I simply print DIPTR that is a double pointer it is going to print this particular fellow 509792 the first star okay will give me what it will give me this particular address 509788 the second star will give me value at this particular address which also happens to be 
100. Now let's come to the last one. Address of DIPTR. Address of DIPTR is this particular fellow. Okay, let's increase the size a bit so you can tend to see. So address of DIPTR is this fellow 509-800. Now the first star, this star here, this star gives me what is the value at this address. The value at this address happens to be address of IPTR. So it contains next first star gives me 509-792. Now when I go to the next star here, this fellow here, what is the value at this particular star? It happens to be this address. Okay. Still I'm at the address. The last star this fellow gives me what is the value at this address. The value at this address happens to be 100. So now the moral of the story is let not the number of stars really scare you or make any difference. Replace the word star with content or value at that particular number. So that will give you the content which is going to be either a address or it's going to be a value. The last star if you're doing it correctly must yield a value.